Hello and welcome to today's multiplication lesson where we're going to be using materials to help us solve the multiplication questions. Now we can always tell it's a multiplication question when it has the time symbol or the little x symbol in the middle. So this is telling us that it's a number times another number and then the equal symbol is going to tell us our answer. So let's have a look at a word problem and see if we can solve it together. I went to the shop to buy some lollies. I got two bags of lollies. Each bag had three lollies each. How many lollies do I have all together? Okay, so with that word problem, I wrote it down as an equation. So I have two bags of lollies and in each bag there are three lollies each. So to solve this equation, I'm gonna use these very delicious materials right here. Okay. So I've got two bags of lollies and in each bag there are three lollies each. So I'm going to take these materials into two groups and in each group I'm gonna put three lollies each or three M&Ms. And then we can add the lollies or M&Ms together to see how many we have as a total. So we have one group with three and another group with three. All right, I have two groups with three lollies or three counters in each group. So now I can add all of it together to find out the answer. One, two, three, four, five, six. So two groups of three or two times three equals, you got it, six. Okay, so here's our next equation that we can try all together. It is one times three equals. Now something that I find really helpful when I'm doing multiplication is when I read the little times or x symbol, I read it as groups of. So I'm gonna write that underneath, groups of. So now I can read this as one groups of or one group of three equals. And that helps me to figure out what the answer can be. So let's try and solve this one. I have one group of three. So I'm gonna have one group with three counters in it. So we have one, two, three. So I've got one group with three counters or three M&Ms. How many is that all together? Three. So one times three or one group of three equals three. Okay, here is our next equation. We have two times four, or our helpful little trick, two groups of four equals. So let's create two groups with four in each group. So we've got one group here, and it's gonna have four in it. One, two, three, four, and let's pick a different color for the other group. One, two, three, four. So now we have two groups, one group, two group, and in both groups there's four each. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So now to find out the answer, I need to add together all of the counters or M&Ms. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So two times four or two groups of four is eight. So let's write that down. Perfect. Okay, here is our next equation three times four or three groups of four, which means I need three groups with four counters or M&Ms in each group. So we're gonna need three different colors. So we've got one group here with four counters. And then we're gonna choose another color, one group of four counters. And then we're gonna choose one more color All right, perfect. So now we have three groups and there are four counters or M&Ms in each group. So now we need to add them all together to see what our total is. Now, if you're good at skip counting, you could just count four, eight, 12. But if you need to, we can count them all one at a time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So our answer for three times four or three groups of four 
is 12. Okay, here is the last equation that we're going to do all together. So it is 2 times 5 or 2 groups of 5. So I need 2 groups and 5 counters in both groups. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and I'll pick another color. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I have two groups with five counters in each group, just like here, two times five or two groups of five. So let's count them all together to get our answer. And again, if you can do skip counting in five, you could do five, 10, but we can count them all together from one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So two times five or two groups of five equals ten. Well done. Perfect. Awesome. So those are all the equations that we're doing together. What you can do is pause the video on the next slide and have a go at the equations that are up there. And you can try them all by yourself or you could ask someone to help you. And remember, I've got some other maths videos that you can check out if you want to keep going on this maths buzz. All right, I'll see you soon.